News in the world of Valheim. Let's go. The Bog Witch update has hit public test branch. Let's look at the details. First, if you want to do the public test branch, make backups of your game. Then go to your library, right click on Valheim, go down to properties, click on betas, choose up here that you want to do the public test version. The access code to type in is yes, I made backups all in lowercase and hit check code. Then you'll get the public test version downloaded to your computer. I do not recommend going back and forth between public tests and the active live version. People have lost games that way and always make backups. Okay, details. Prepare for a feast. There's a brand new trader found in the swamps. Sells a lot of new stuff. First, the abbreviated patch notes. There's a new trader in trader location. This is going to be the Bog Witch. You'll find her just like we find Hildur. And when you get close to her and find her location, a kettle icon will show up on your map, similar to Hildur's shirt. You do need to go into swamp areas that you have not discovered before. And I have a video on how to get new content in old worlds if you want to check that out. There's a new feast mechanic including 8 feasts, 16 new crafting materials, 8 new potions, 3 new clothing, 3 new skills, 4 new build pieces, 2 new tools, 3 new emotes, 1 new event, and various bug fixes and performance improvements. We're gonna get detailed. If you wanna avoid spoilers, click off now. Okay, new mechanics. Feast, large meals that last longer and can be shared among several people. New skill cooking, reduces the time it takes to craft food. Chance to gain plus one food while crafting. New skill farming, reduces the stamina cost of using the cultivator and increases the durability of farming items. That's nice. Chance to gain bonus yield while harvesting crops. New skill, crafting, reduces the time it takes to craft items and increases the durability of crafting items. That'll be nice, especially for the hammer. Reduces the stamina cost of placing build pieces. So we got something for builders too. Crafting, tool, serving tray, allows you to place any consumable item like a build piece. So you don't need item stands. We now have this skill perhaps at some point in the future we'll be able to use it for other items as well but right now it's for consumable items that should be food and potions new tool scythe allows you to speed up the harvesting of your crops and then we have quite a few purchable purchasable materials including barrel rings candle wick scythe handle cured squirrel hamstring powdered dragon eggshells fresh seaweed, pungent pebbles, fragrant bundle, toadstool, ivy seeds, those are going to be for blue ivy, I believe, woodland herb blend, mountain peak pepper powder, grasslands herbalist harvest, herbs of the hidden hills, fiery spice powder, and seafarers herbs. And I'll be looking into the details of what all of these are used for, recipes or potions. Then we have the build pieces and furniture. We get the barrel and it can be used for storage. That's nice. People have been cheating, cheating in barrels for decoration, but this one can actually store things. Resin candle. I think that's going to be made by buying a wick that you get from the Bog Witch. Workbench food preparation table and workbench mead kettle. So this is going to divide things out so that the recipe list in the pot is not so long. Clothing. We have the harvest tunic and the harvest dress as well as a straw hat. These are purchasable. And I'll be looking at what buffs you get from these, if any. I'm thinking it has something to do with farming. Creatures. NPC the witch, which is the traitor, and NPC enemy, Kvatster. How do you say that? Kvatster? I'll be finding out who this enemy is. Now we have the feasts and potions. Feasts include whole roasted meadows boar, black forest buffet platter, swamp dwellers delight, heavy mountain lager stew, plains pie picnic, mushrooms galore a la mislands, ashlands gourmet bowl, sailors bounty. And so you can see that there's one for each biome, including the ocean. And so I'm guessing that the ones that are more advanced don't show up until you have been to that biome or harvested something from that biome that you'll need to make them. So you're not going to just be able to go into the swamp at the beginning of the game and make Ashland's food. That's not the kind of thing Iron Gate would do, I don't think. Potions include Berserker Mead, Tonic of Ratatosk, Lightfoot Mead, Draugr of Vanandir, 
Mead of Troll Endurance, Brew of Animal Whispers. I'm curious what that does, maybe sneaking? Anti-Sting Concoction and Love Potion, which is purchasable, not necessarily something you can craft, apparently. Some of these, I think you can probably guess what they are. Lightfoot Mead, I'm guessing that's the one with the feathers that will affect fall damage. Sailor's Bounty, maybe like the motor power. But I'll be making a guide on exactly what all of these are, how to get them and what they do. Then miscellaneous, new location is the hut, of course. New event is ghosts. So that'll be interesting. And how fun that they're having this come in right before Halloween. I wonder if you don't get this event until you find her in the swamp. New emotes include relax and rest and toast. Mead bases are now crafted with a mead kettle instead of with the cauldron. So everybody make more room in your kitchens. We're gonna need some massive kitchens going on for all of these. Uncooked food items are crafted with food preparation table instead of with the cauldron. So that's probably like the uncooked lox pie, things that have to go into the oven. And food placed with the serving tray is steaming of deliciousness. Now there's gobs of fixes and improvements. A lot of them are little details and optimizations. But let's highlight some of the cool ones. Added the ability to craft five at once when holding down shift or left stick. This is something people have been asking for for a long time. And this should be working in all crafting stations. This one's fun too. Food is now visible in the player's hand during eating animation. That makes it more immersive. Player built pots now return charcoal resin on destruction. Hmm. Reduced radius of burn area on the fire pits. I guess things were catching on fire a bit too much. Fixed a visual bug with the Aspen rug and straw. That's nice. They've updated to a newer version of Unity. This one is good for combat. Fix the slope knockback bug that could occur when hitting enemies with some attacks while on a steep slope. Combat on slopes is definitely a challenge, so hopefully that'll help. Xbox is mainly some little bug fixes and optimizations. Same for PC, Linux, and most of Mac. But on Mac, they do say Bepinex will work on Steam versions of Mac again, so if you've not been able to use mods on a Mac, hopefully that's working. Next, I'm looking into all of the details of these, so stay tuned. If you like Get to the Point News and Guides, make sure to subscribe and leave me a like. Until next time, happy gaming.